In this video, we'll be covering the new gameplay devices and improvements made to the PvE enemy device. Creators can now set it up for individuals, teams, or all players to gain EXP and level up. They can also be used with the character level settings in the basic parameter settings. This allows players to gain EXP and level up in the match. Additionally, players can also use skill devices to acquire different attribute skills based on their level. Furthermore, after creators enable the level saving feature, players can save their levels and EXP when they leave and enter the game again. Creators can use grouped object devices to unload and load grouped objects in the map. They can also create lots of different grouped objects, and use the grouped object action device to batch copy the grouped objects. Then, they can add the random action device to trigger a link, and depending on the number rolled by the random action device, different grouped objects can be loaded in the map. Thus, the map can be randomized. In this update, we've also improved the PvE devices. Creators can now edit PvE enemies' sight, such as the distance and angle of their vision. Furthermore, we've also added three new enemy types, mutants, berserkers, and rippers. Creators not only can adjust how PvE enemies spawn in the editor, but they can also edit the PvE enemy's attributes in the overall match management, health, movement speed, and even their color. These adjustments allow for more personalization, making the maps more interesting. For more World of Wonder strategies, be sure to check out the Co-Create space.